Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the procedure to add a color background to an audio file. So you're turning an audio file into video, and the video is just a blue background. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure to do a similar thing, but instead of just a blank background, we're going to put the audio over an image. So I'll put a link in the description to the commands I'm using in this video so you can copy them from my website. And I'll also have a link to my FFmpeg notes where I have installation information. And then I'll also have a link to my FFmpeg playlist where you can find my other FFmpeg projects. So I'm on my terminal here on my desktop and I have some files on my desktop. I have this one called airplane, which is a picture of an airplane. This looks like a three by four ratio image. And then we have the train whistle audio. And this is what I extracted. I extracted that in a previous video. So to start, I want to type FFmpeg space dash loop space one space dash F space image two space dash I space airplane dot jpg. So that added our airplane image as an input. Then we'll do dash i space train whistle underscore audio dot m4a and then space dash vf. So this is a video filter space and I'll say crop equals in underscore w. So that's the input width colon in underscore w times nine divided by 16. So what this will do is it will take that image of the airplane and it will crop it to a 16 by nine ratio. Then I'll say comma, then I'll say scale equals 1920 by 1080. So after it crops it, it will scale it down to be 1080p. Then I'll say comma FPS equals FPS equals 30. So this will set it to 30 frames per second. I'll type space dash pix underscore FMT space YUV 420p. Then I'll type space dash V codec space lib x 264. So I've done some previous videos on hardware encoding and you can switch that to a hardware encoding uh, codec. Next I'm going to type space dash shortest. So we have two tracks. We have the audio file and we have the image. So the image is looping forever and the audio file is, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever. So what shortest will do is it will make the size of the destination file the size of the shortest track. So if you don't use this, it'll go on forever. I'll type space and I'll type train whistle underscore airplane dot mp4. I'll hit enter. Looks like I typed it right. So now it's going to render that file. Okay, so that's completed. And if you watched my previous videos, it did things very fast. This time it was actually kind of slow compared to those because it actually had to render this out and using a hardware encoder would speed this up. So now I can open up that file and here we have a 1920 by 1080 p and I record this at 720p so we're not looking at the full resolution here. But the output is 1080 p and I can play this and we hear the train sound. So if you ever want to have a picture of an airplane and a train sound, you can do it using FFmpeg. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.